my depression just started getting worse and worse and I would go into a very big downward spiral where every day was just harder and harder. I couldn't get out of bed. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to go to sleep and stay that way. I wanted to die. Like I, I just decided, wow, that's a really good option. You know, like I won't be around. There's no more pressure on me and there's no more anything. I'm just, I'm free. My life basically just revolves around the idea of killing myself. For me, when I was depressed, waking up on a daily basis was extremely difficult. You know, I'd wake up and it would be painful for me to take, you know, the sheets off my, you know, my bed and to wake up and brush my teeth to eat was painful. And for me, it was just this daily routines that a normal person would be able to do with ease were for me extremely difficult. Sixty percent of youth who die by suicide are clinically depressed. And we need to distinguish between clinical depression and the occasional feeling down that we may go through in response to a loss in our life or a disappointment. Dad! Brian is being a jerk. I can't do my homework with all the noise and he won't turn down his stupid music. Brian, turn it down. down. Right. Wouldn't want to bother anyone around here. Come on. Let's go outside and toss a few. I don't think so. First game's less than a week away. Not for me, it isn't. I got cut. What? I don't believe it. How in the heck did that happen? I missed too many practices. First your grades, now baseball. You better get your act together, Ryan. Maybe if you didn't sleep so much. Forget it. I'm not good enough anyway. Maybe Uncle Walter had the right idea. What? He knew when to get out. I know that tore into Dad. Why? Uncle Walter was my dad's older brother. He killed himself. Just like... Why did he do it? Why? Sometimes we never know why. But we do know is that your brother was in a lot of pain. What were some of the warning signs that you saw in the scene on the video? After he'd given her the CDs, he told her right before she left, there's going to be a lot of changes, you know, and, and that kind of, to me, set like a little red flag and be like, what exactly is he talking about? What, what is he meaning? What is he trying to tell me? When his sister went into his room, and she had a CD of his, and she went to give it back to him, and. He said, oh, no, you can keep it, and here's another CD. That was a definite sign that he had a plan, and his sudden mood change was a definite sign that he probably was going to kill himself. One of the warning signs of youth suicide is making final arrangements. This behavior often takes many forms in teenagers, and giving away prized possessions, such as their favorite clothing, their favorite jewelry, their personal treasures, such as journals, or in Ryan's case, his favorite music CDs. Any other signs? We saw that his grades had rapidly dropped and he had also been kicked off the baseball team because he hadn't been going and in connection with that, he'd been sleeping all day long, showing that he didn't want to be outside and he didn't want to be interacting with people.